All right, howdy Tyron, howdy family. Part two of The Clash. Getting our geezer on again. I explained that one in the last episode or the last video. Uh, we're doing a simple little addition to the song today. We're going to learn the strumming pattern that comes in, I think, about midway through the song. Not too complicated, but it's kind of like almost like they're playing everything a little bit like a double time with the strumming pattern. Uh, it'll make sense when you kind of hear it through the song. I always encourage the students when they're learning songs, Tyron, play along. So uh, get your acoustic guitar, get the Clash record out uh, in whichever way you'd listen to it, and then annoy the neighbors by strumming up a storm and getting your Clash on in a very, very cool way. Okay, so the chords remain the same. The only thing you need to learn is a new strumming pattern. It's very simple. Uh, but because we haven't done really any strumming patterns before, this will be a good introduction to uh, learning them, but using, I guess, you could say simple chords and a really catchy song. So the normal strumming pattern of the song, as we explained in the last lesson, is one, two, three, one, two, three, one, like that with the pause. The difference here is that there isn't any palm muting going on between the chords. So he's filling that out by playing this kind of uh, down-up version of a strumming pattern. So when you refer to a strumming pattern, Torrin, it's fairly simple. It's either a downstroke or an upstroke, usually a combination of a whole bunch of those together. So with this pattern, we're going to start on the D, and when we run through it, we'll be running through the exact same chord progression that we used for the song. So go back to the last video once you've kind of mastered that one, you know, the entire chord progression. Uh, move on to this one and see if you can incorporate it into the actual song, and soon you'll be uh, rocking out like a true member of The Clash. Oh, one of my favorite bands. I'm really pleased you're into these guys, Tyron. They are absolutely awesome. Okay, so let's first learn the strumming pattern, maybe without the chords. I'm going to mute it. The strumming pattern, Tyron, really slowly is down, 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 up, down, down. So down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, down. It's kind of a little bit complicated. You can, it's almost like a tongue twist. You say down, up so many times that you can be confused actually to what it means. So let's do it slowly first. Two down strokes, a down, up, followed by another two down strokes. So down, 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 up, down, 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 up, down, 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 up. But here's where it's complex. The down, up part is exactly the same amount of time as one down. So it's like down, 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 up. So you'd notice that each down, one, two, takes up the same amount of time as the down and up. I hope that makes sense, but I can explain that in our lesson if it's a little bit unclear. So if we were to incorporate that into the song, you'll very, very uh, quickly get this. Let's do it really slowly at first and see if we can use it changing the chord. So remember again, same chord progressions, D to G to D, D to G to D, uh, G to F to G, then D to G to D, and then A, 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 and then, Torrent, here's where it's complex. It just goes through that section, that double time, just the one time, and then it goes right back to the section. So you can get a little bit confused in that way. But again, you'll have uh, the best guitar teacher in the world to be able to show you, I guess, how to do that. So um, I can, you know, show you in person if you're a little bit confused, because it's a bit of a tricky one to first get started, but we want to be challenging ourselves. And I think uh, judging on what we've been doing the last couple of weeks, challenges are good for you because you seem to take to them quite well. Okay, so I'll do it really slowly, starting from that first chord progression. straight back into the and then you go through the song as it was before so let's try it again but this time just have a listen to what I'm doing rather than me saying it because it can get a little bit lost so remember down 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 up down 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 up that's how you do it Not super complex, but there's a lot of downing and a lot of upping, so uh, 
let's see if we can go through that uh, together this afternoon when we have our lesson. The thing about a lot of these things, Tyron, is it's, you've got to feel it out as well. So at first, your hand's going to be very stiff, not really able to do the ups or the downs uh, in the amount of time. But eventually, you just want to have this hand kind of pivoting up, down, up, down, up, down. Now, that's a hell of a lot of ups and a hell of a lot of downs. So hopefully you're not too down. Hopefully you're up, I guess. <laughs> All right. Anyway, bud, uh, my horrible sense of humor as always. Uh, have a fantastic time with the clash and also one last little trick for you which is the lick that I taught you before which was 10 to 8 is the same but opposite so it's actually you're just going 8 to 10 it'll sound a little bit better so when they do that doesn't that sound just a little bit more uh, I guess in tune or in key or whatever you'd say I guess more like the song is probably the better way of saying it so there you go, bud. Uh, you can realize that sometimes you just have things backwards and then they sound a little bit more like the clash. All right, you're official. You're a geese. You're an English person, almost half English. Now you got to work on the accent. My wife's been doing a good job watching English TV shows. She's getting her geese wrong. All right, buddy, I'll see you in about an hour. Have a fantastic day, mate. Bye.